Hey guys and welcome to this video. This is a nail art haul and there is a couple of different brands in this one so I'm just going to start off with what I got from Glitterbells. So I went onto the Glitterbells website and I ordered some of my favourite Builder Bell gel which is the shade Peekaboo and then I also went on and I ordered Soya. So Soya is a shade that I saw on Instagram and a lot of people seem to be a fan of Soya so I was dying to try it out and I was not disappointed. This one is a khaki green and it's called Can't Find My Khaki and I'm just going to do a little swatch of this. I'm going to do two coats and I'm going to show you how this green turns out and then I'm going to come back and show you exactly what Soya is like and I'm going to compare it to Peekaboo. So this is Soya, I'm going to go in and swatch it. I just did a slip layer and then I'm going to build up the nail here. So as if it's imitating what a real nail would look like. I just want it to look perfectly strong in colour. So when clients look at it, they know exactly what they're getting. So I'm just going to build it up on the inside here. And then the outside of the swatch stick is going to act as the top coat. So this is it after it is cured. And I've already done a set with it. So I'm going to insert a video of the set here. And the two middle nails are the shade Soya. So this is Peekaboo and Soya together. Peekaboo is on the left and Soya is on the right and they are quite different when you put them together. There is, I would say Peekaboo would be used more for a French tip. And next up we went on to Amazon and ordered these X-Coat tips from BT Art Box. So I was intrigued by these as well because I saw a lot of people ordering them and the fact that they are matte on top and they have that pink base colour just means that you can just go ahead and work on top of them. So I just want to see how they turn out. If you go in with them, say a glitter gel over top or maybe French tips, designs, all that kind of stuff. They look really good quality so far. I haven't used them yet, but I'm going to use them really, really soon. And I was just testing the sizes here, just kind of popping them up against my own nail. And so far, they, the sizing is the same as my other press on nails that I have here. So this is just a little leaflet giving you instructions on how to prep your nails and apply the BT Art Box Dehydrate and their gel glue. I don't have any of that so I'm just going to be using it like a press on nail. I think this is more like a gel X method here but I'm going to be using it as press on nails to start with anyways and see how it goes. But I'm excited to use those and then the next up I got some stuff from AliExpress. So these charms I thought were really really unusual and they just reminded me of that Korean and Japanese style charm you know it's really subtle like very 3D but lovely soft colours these hearts just remind me of that they're very kind of iridescent and I think they'd be gorgeous on a short almond nail or a medium almond nail just nice and plain and simple but yeah I'll link these down below as well if you want to go and have a look So these are some more charms and I also got these from AliExpress. 
these are I'm not sure how many is in a packet I think it's 20 but these are like a soft gold abstracty design with a little pearl in the middle so again I just thought nice and subtle but still really elegant and glam so I don't have anything like this so here it is in the little tray just to get a better look at it and I'm going to pop the hearts in beside it so you can see them both together I'm really happy with those two because I do not have anything like that in my collection at the moment so I'm definitely definitely going to do a set with these soon and if you made it this far please subscribe and thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one